here with John with Blog Talk Radio. John, talk to us a little bit about Blog Talk Radio. Well, uh, Blog Talk Radio, as the name uh, infers, um, uh, is we're about streaming audio. We, we really take the best. Uh, well, I'll take a step back. We take the best of uh, live streaming audio. Uh, the best attributes from there, and the best attributes of podcasting and, and on-demand content, and combine them into a single platform. So, we provide uh, anyone with a telephone uh, and a browser the ability to produce live uh, call-in style radio talk shows, um, So, all facilitated by the telephone. You as the host dial in, uh, You uh, then a little switchboard pops up in your browser, um, which is how you can control uh, your live callers. You get a phone number that you give out to your audience, and they can call in, and you can interact with them and produce uh, your very own, you know, radio uh, talk show style radio show. Wow, I honestly didn't know all that. I mean, that sounds that sounds pretty attractive to a lot of people. Like, I mean, I did a show, like we were talking, I did a show on Webmaster Radio. It was very popular, but I just it didn't. We kind of just agreed to go different ways or whatever, you know. I just invest and everything like that. But um, you know, I, I I really miss doing it a lot. So I'm definitely going to look into it, to what you guys are doing. That's great. It sounds do. like you have a ton of flexibility, you know, and and the ability to have users call in and stuff like that just over a regular phone. I mean, that's what I love. I love to do a live show, and then afterwards, is the podcast available for download? Then it is. So that was what I was referring to earlier. Is that but. 20 to 30 minutes after the show is actually completed, uh, it gets pushed out as an MP3 file on an RSS feed and gets syndicated everywhere. Uh, so the distribution on it is is more than just our site, even though we do have, have our, our fair share of distribution. Uh, over 3 million uh, uh, people visiting the site each month, uh, or I should say listeners, uh, 2 million uniques, roughly. Um, and, and that's just that's just our site. Uh, so that doesn't count the the podcast syndication that goes along with that. Right. So, and, uh, do are, are the like the hosts allowed to like embed the MP3 like on their website? Yes, or? good question. Okay. So you can uh, you you get a player, a flash player that you can embed on your website, uh, which we love for you to do, of course. Um, you can also we also have a tool that allows you to distribute that player out to uh, all your social networking profiles and blogs, etc. Automatically, uh, we work with Gigya to do that. That's a great partnership for us. Now let me ask you this. As far as advertising goes, like, do you guys like put advertising like at the beginning or at the end or something like that? Or, I mean, I don't. I'm just unfamiliar with how you guys monetize the content yourself. We do. Uh, we have uh, our core service is free and ad supported, um, but we allow uh, the producers to actually opt into an ad share, uh, a revenue share program. Wow! So you can earn 30% of the, of the revenue uh, that's generated from your your radio show. Wow. Uh, on a regular basis, and I, I met, it's funny. I met a woman here uh, who's only who's been a host for a short while, and she came to my, came up to me and said, "I just got my first check." She was all excited. Um, so you know, it it, it does work, um, and uh, you know, it's only going to improve as as we build out that infrastructure further. So how do you decide who to let in the network? You know, as because I'm sure that's the number one question a lot of people are going to post in the comments of this video is like, like how do I get my site in? I mean, is it do you guys, is it a big screening process? I mean, like, what's the process? Or is pretty much everyone open to try it? it it's open. Um, it's more, uh, we represent really the long tail. We have the best of, uh, you know, if you take a look at our site, uh, we've, we have had people on from entertainment, Brad Pitt, uh, uh, Yoko Ono, uh, you know, people from politics. We've had McCain, we've had uh, Hillary Clinton, uh, we've had sports figures, uh, you, you know, you name it. And, you know, our hosts are able to, you know, work their own network to secure these, these guests. Um, anyone, can, if anyone who has the desire to create quality content uh, can do so on a topic that is of interest or a passion to them. Uh, so when we, we have 70 plus categories right now. Um, if we find that we have a number of shows that fit another category, we'll, we'll, we add categories continually. Um, it, it, we, we are the long tail, so anyone can come and produce uh, a show at any time. And yeah, sure, like most sites, you know, we have what we like to think are standards in terms of decency and language and uh, that sort of thing, so we don't allow adult content. Uh, but beyond that, you know, if you're serious about producing content, we want you on the network. Awesome. So I think you know, for a lot of people out there, I know a lot of people. It, it sounds like a great uh, low barrier to entry for users and regular bloggers just to have their voice and to launch themselves. So check it out, BlogTalkRadio.com. Thanks. Please do.